So welcome back to another video, rebuild my crash damage Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. Now back in January, I got talked into slash impulsed on it on this car. Um, obviously it was, very, it was crash damaged, didn't know the full extent of the damage when I was bidding on it. Did a bid too high or did it get it for a good price? Who knows? I suppose we'll only find out when the car's complete. So we sent the car off to the paint shop a good few months ago now. Um, for one reason or another, without sounding like a sob story, um, we got caravan stolen from home and luckily I started to go racing again. <laughs> So due to time and money, I haven't had a chance to get back on with the car. So the car's been stood for a few, few months since it came back from the paint shop. But today is the day where we're going to get started on it. So I will apologise right now because obviously I've been doing bits and pieces to the car in the meantime. And I've been getting the footage, but I've not been, so it's none of it's sort of flown and making any sense. So I'm going to try and piece it together best I can for you. Here we go. The car's back. Let's get started on it and let's get on the road. So now it's time to start rebuilding the Porsche finally after so long now like I say I've already forgot a lot of things that I need to do to the car so I think the only thing I can do really is get cracked on first plan the plan of attack is we're going to get the bumper off the wings off it and just um, basically check everything out and um, obviously before I went to the paint shop I rushed things a little bit so there's obviously going to be a lot of things I need to order as well which is going to hold it back a little bit but first things first I want to get the um, red packs on the car um, just check and try and order as much as I can that I know that I need to order because like I say I've just literally forgot it's been so long and a lot ha a lot's happened since so we're going to get them bits off now and make a start on the rad pack I've even been struggling to find all the bits I've ordered previously as well so if you look behind me or in front of me now I've got a couple of radiators condensers and it's been that long I'd forgot where I'd hidden half the bits so there's a cupboard full of bits and seat belts and God knows what else in there and in that one. I've got bits and pieces all over the shop, so I've got to find, dig all that out, see what I've got, see what I need to get. But um, really excited to get on with it. And hopefully, in the not too distant future, we'll be driving it. See, with this car having um, centre lock and wheel nuts, it's not as easy just to put a, a, like a spare set of wheels on it, because I don't know anyone that's got any spare wheels. So um, I've dropped them off to get paint, uh, powder coat, sorry. You have to, have to wait till next week's video, hopefully, and you can see what colour I've gone with them. But at the minute, the car is straight back from the paint shop. So as you can see, no door cards, everything pretty much stripped out. The painters took the, the windscreen out as well. So I've just been in touch with a guy today to see about getting a windscreen fitted. There's this thing that's sticking out that's a little bit worrying. So obviously when they took the windscreen off, I'm sure it's something that can be fixed, but I think Matt said it was a net for an aerial. So that's that. Um, one thing that does concern me, which I didn't notice before, I don't know if it stands out on the camera, is this bit of the dash, obviously, this has been replaced or repaired with the airbag inside and obviously that replaced. But on this bit here, it's a, it's a little bit, I don't know if model, model is the right word or not, but it's just a little bit uneven. I'm not quite happy with that. So I'm not, if anyone's got any tips of what I can do with that to basically blend in with the rest of the dash, obviously this, with this new piece of lever, please let us know in the comments. But um, overall, really happy with how the car's turned out. They've done a really good job. Obviously this was a brand new second hand um, front bumper off a GT3 RS. Um, obviously you've got all, I've already got all the trims to go on that, all the mesh pieces, all the grills to go in it. Um, obviously in there you can see there's no coolers, so that's one of the first jobs I'm gonna do. Down the side here, um, if you remember, I'll try and put some clips in of the damage before, but there was a huge gouge from this part up here, and, but you would never tell. Thanks to all the guys at Allied. Now it's time to get to work, rebuilding the Porsche. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light. Just give So now that I've got the wings and the front bumper off, I literally can't tell you how worried I am taking bits and pieces off. Obviously, we just said they're all painted, it's all really nice. We're being black as well. I'm worried about like scratching damage or anything. But I think I won't have to get over that because. Um, I think they're going to be on and off a lot more times yet before going any further. So next step, I want to get all the rad packs on. So both side rad packs. Um, I've, I've got one side to build up, one side I bought um, as a complete unit already used. And then the other side's a brand new set up. So I've got to build all that up. <laughs> it's been so long, I've literally forgot what I need to do. <laughs> okay, I'm basically going to wing it, make it up as I go along. And keep adding to the list. Wires and pipes everywhere. I was quite lucky actually because the this pipe that was on the 
car from the crash. It managed to bend that little, um, managed to bend that from the crash somehow. Don't know how. Um, but look at the other one I've just got as a replacement. As a new one of them. That's got a new one at the bottom as well. So that's a result. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreaming. So we've got the driver side um, rad pack on now. A couple of wires have have been damaged so I need to get them repaired but just went to go to start building the passenger side ride pack up and noticed that the condenser that I bought even though it was listed as the right one it's not the right one so um, basically this ride pack was pretty much damaged so I've got a new radiator and I've got a new bracket um, the bracket on the old one there was only that piece that was broken but I've got a new one anyway so I'm going to transfer all the original fan and electrics and everything onto this piece onto this um, brace and install a new rad to it and then obviously I'm gonna to have to order a condenser and then um, once that comes we'll just add that on. Luckily it's the condenser side so it's the front which will be quite easy to fit afterwards so no big drama but uh, a little bit annoying as well so these are all genuine parts from Porsche as well so pretty expensive. Red packs on the car, um, not too bad of a job. Um, nuts and pieces, there's a wire that I need to repair there and possibly the actual connector itself. But the next step, I think what I want to do is, is go on, I had to drop the uh, door cards off to the paint shop so they could move the windows up, <clears throat> but unfortunately I left them there. So I'm gonna pick them up tomorrow, I think. And then when I come back, we'll get the doors built up and then I'm gonna put the doors on and then um, I can start putting the panels on to line them up a little bit. So I think that's the next step. So we're on day two, of the, obviously putting the Porsche back together after it's been in the paint shop. Um, this morning I've been out and dropped the wheels off at Derby Alloys, obviously in Derby. Um, so they're gonna do the powder cutting on the wheels for me. Um, where else have I been? I've been picked the door cards up so I can get the doors off today, get them all built back up and then pretty much I think I should be able to do the full interior on the, on the car. Um, so that'll be all done, ticked off. And then obviously I've just got to wait for a few more bits for the front to finish that. It's a bank holiday this weekend, so I'm definitely not going to get them by the weekend. Um, but in the meantime, we've actually got Matt on the dyno with his port, so I'm going to take you up there and show you what, how we're getting on with that. Um, Phil's working his magic on Matt's car right there. Concentration phase. 550 standard on Yours that. is wider, yours is a wider track. 1.5 kg. Slightly heavier than mine. 1.5 kg? 1.5 tonne. 1.5 tonne. Mine's 1.4. No pressure tyres on the track setup. And they've done more. So I've come up with a new plan of attack. I'm going to try and get back on with fitting basically pull the door cards on, get the mirrors on the outside, refitting the passenger side door, and then finish finishing the best I can on the interior trim. As you can see, I've had a window, um, I've had the front windscreen fitted, which makes it look a lot more finished. So yeah, let's get the interior done, um, get all the back seats, get the seat belts back in, get all these finished up, get the fastened up, get these rubbers on, get the rubbers around the doors, get all these little bits and pieces, little bits and trim all fastened up and start putting the thing back together. A couple of little things I'm worried about. Um, I didn't take any of this off the mirror or anything like that, so hopefully that's pretty straightforward. I'll do that. Um, another thing I'm worried about is running the wires behind here because when I took them off originally, it was an, it was a bit of a nightmare to be honest. So um, that may take a little bit, but we're going to crack on with that now. And then once that's done, the other part should be here, so we can finish the front end, get the coolant in, maybe uh, start doing the coolant, um, get a run up temperature. 
get the wheels on, get pulled out, and then start fitting the front end, the bumper and wings. So let's do it. So as you can see, we've got the wires, basically connect to all the controllers and everything. This is a thick part of the wiring loom that goes through this little gap, through the door, through the gap there, into here. So we can plug them in. Um, I'm guessing we've got to fill it up. I'm guessing we've got to feed them in front of there, and then after that we've got the mirror, that, which will be directly up there. So the mirror is going to come through there, and then again run the wires, just so they don't touch the glass when the glass comes down. So now that I've run the wires through into the cab itself, it was time to put the door cards on. Obviously, the first part's held on by some plastic clips and a couple of 10 mil screws. Next step is to fit the airbag for the actual door card itself. And I fit this the first time I did forget to connect the wire, so I was trying to figure out why the window wasn't working for about five minutes, but luckily it was quite a fast fix to reinstall the connectors, so obviously the window was working. Once this was done, um, it was time to run the rubber seals around the door trims itself. Um, again, this wasn't as straightforward as it should be. No matter which direction I was pushing on the trims itself, it, they didn't want to stay in. And finally, was the rear seat belts. So one job that uh, I didn't really want to do again, but it looks like I'm going to have to, is, is this glove box. I'm not sure if you can see on the camera. So basically the gap between this carbon piece and the dashboard is a little bit bigger this side than it is this side. It's just going to annoy me. So I think I'm going to have to do it again. So I'm best off just getting on with it. So again, got the glove box out. Um, the other day I must have spent about two hours putting this in just because it wasn't quite right. Um, you know, I just couldn't get, I couldn't get 100%. Anyways, just took it out and I've noticed this tab. Uh, there's a tab here which is bent over. Now I'm wondering if that's making this side not sit flush, hence why it's sitting lower than it should be. So I'm going to sort that out, put it back in, and then hopefully that is it because that little, even though it was only like three or four mil, it was really bugging me and I didn't want to see it, have to see that every day. So I'm glad I've done it. Hopefully that solves it. So let's get back in and see if it's fixed the problem. So today I've managed to get the driver's side door pretty much back together. Um, I've got the rear seat belt. I've got the driver's side rear seat belt. Pretty much all the driver's side is there or thereabouts. I've still got the steam wheel airbag to sort. So you wouldn't believe it, but the one of the longest jobs was actually doing this mirror. So there was some, I never took the mirror off myself. There's loads of wires hanging out of it and that has been a bit of a nightmare to fix. Um, another thing that we have got since the windscreen went in is these wires on this side and that side. I wasn't actually here when they fit the windscreen so I'm not sure why they haven't connected them or where they go to. So um, I've got to figure out that. Once I've done that, basically repeat the process but on the passenger side. And then the interior is there or thereabouts. Pretty much done. So happy that made some progress today. Not as much as I would have liked, but obviously it's progress. So, so thanks for watching again, and hopefully in the next one we'll have all the front end on and we can drive the car. It's definitely going to be a long road still because there's so many little bits that I need to order that I forget to order, and then you fix things, and then you have to, you have to wait for a couple of days for the other parts to come. So it's a bit of a nightmare that way, but I suppose that's all the part of rebuilding these projects. So I've rebuilt plenty of vans and cars in the past, but this one always seems to be them little bits you need to order and. With it being a Porsche, I think it's just not as accessible to get the parts, especially second-hand, as it is for some of the other cars or vans that I've done in the past, like your BMW 140s, your transporters, caddies, etc. So, not to worry. Hopefully, in the end, it'll all be worth it. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.